Wonderful guests, thank you. Now to the rest of the day's news and people living in a block of flats in Poplar which caught fire on Friday say they're angry that the Grenfell star cladding on the building had not been removed. More than 40 people were injured in the blaze which broke out on the 8th floor of a 19-storey building. Rags Martel spoke to those who escaped from the flames on Friday. Yeah, the balcony above caught fire. Trapped in a burning building, Nadim Ahmed tried to leave his flat. Now, at that point, I then ran out to escape via the stairwell, only to be received with what I would call a backdraft, which knocked me backwards by two metres. And at that point, all the black smoke, plumes of it, just engulfed level 14. How is he going to get there? Outside, the hose of the first fire crews weren't reaching the flames. Did you think you were going to die? Yeah, of course I did. And then I made a distressing call back to my wife, who was in the car with my three young daughters, to say that I can't escape the building. With the fire taking hold and cladding falling off, <laughs> Nadim tried one more time to leave. At that point, what was also quite chilling was a family on level 16 who have twin one-year-old babies and a three-year-old were struggling to get down in the thick, dense smoke. It was only about an arm's length of visibility, and at that point, I grabbed a baby, my neighbour grabbed a baby, and we ran down as fast as we could, and it was really difficult. Now taking refuge in a hotel, this is just one story of escape. 72 hours on, there is absolute anger. The issues that we have is almost on the eve of Grenfell, Four years on, I feel as if they're playing Russian roulette with our lives. Covered in flammable cladding, residents knew their block was dangerous. They campaigned to have it removed, and they also paid £47,000 a month for fire wardens to protect them. And you were on the same floor as the fire. This couple didn't want to be identified. We're angry. We're paying a lot for a waking watch, but they weren't able to raise the alarm when we needed them. A firefighter told me that the fire door didn't close and the fire alarm didn't go off. He was surprised that this happened. In a statement, the developer Ballymore told us the Grenfell style cladding played no part in the fire. It didn't start it or help spread the flames. But this is disputed by cladding experts. Well, it doesn't appear to be the case. The video footage clearly shows that there is material on the outside of that building which is in flames. So if that's not ACM, then who knows what it is because it certainly burns. <laughs> we didn't really need any more warnings that this material is highly dangerous. It can be it could have been stripped off four years ago, nearly now. Again, this was this was a lucky near miss. The government says it's providing five billion pounds to fix the cladding crisis, but there have been plenty of warnings. Well, we've had two fires now, one in December 2018. Uh, and this one, I don't know what it will take now for government to do the right thing and step up. Almost four years after Grenfell, campaigners say the government is still playing with fire and people's lives. Rags Martel, ITV News.